In this video, we're going to use a graph to convert pounds to kilograms and kilograms to pounds. Now let's read the question. The question says, the graph above is used to convert between kilograms and pounds. Use it to answer the following questions. So the question is telling us that this graph right here is going to convert pounds to kilograms and kilograms to pounds. Now before we look at part A, the first thing I want us to do is I want us to notice that they don't give us every point on this graph. And when I make reference of it doesn't give us every point on the graph, I mean we don't know the scale of the graph. Reason being is we know we're going to start at zero. So zero is going to start right here. And the next number we see is five. But we see there are many lines in between before we get to the number five. So we don't know what this number is. We don't know what this number is. So because we don't know what these numbers are, it's very important that we find the scale of this graph. Once we know the scale of this graph, we will know how many pounds is in between each of the lines. So instead of us just knowing zero to five and five to 10, we'll know from five to this line or from this line to this line. So in order to find out the scale of the y-axis, which is in pounds, we're going to have to say 5 minus our starting point, which is going to be 0, over the number of lines that is in between these two numbers. So let's start at 0. If we start at 0, we know we're going to have 1. This is the first line. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have 10 small lines between the numbers 0 and 5. Now when we solve for this, 5 minus 0 is going to give us 5 over 10. When you put this in your calculator, you're going to get the decimal number 0 0.5. So this is very important that you understand the scale for each line in the y-axis. Now let's do the x-axis, which represents the kilograms. So to calculate this, we're just going to use these two points. We're going to use point 1 and point 2. I'm going to show you there are different ways you can calculate it once you use the correct numbers. So we could have said 1 minus 0, or you can say 2 minus 1. I'm just going to say 2 minus 1 in this example. So we have 2 minus 1 divided by the number of lines between 2 and 1. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 lines. So there are 5 lines between 2 and 1. 2 minus 1 is going to give you 1 over 5. When you write this as a decimal, you're going to get the decimal answer 0. 0.2. Now if you did 1 minus 0 over 5, which is the number of lines in between 0 and 1, you would have gotten the same answer. So we know the scale for the y-axis is going to be for every line, we're going to go up 0 0.5 pounds, and the scale for the x-axis every time we go over is going to be 0 0.2 pounds. So let's write this. I'm going to write y-axis And this is the x-axis. So anytime they give you a graph like this and they don't label all of the points, it is very important that you try to understand what each point represents. So let's start to solve this problem. For part A, it says convert 5 kilograms to pounds. So they want us to go from kilograms to pounds. Now, how do you think we should do this using this graph, by the way? The first thing we're going to do is find kilograms. Is kilograms going to be on the y-axis or the x-axis? Well, we know kilograms is going to be on the x-axis, which is right here. And they want us to convert 5 kilograms to pounds. Pounds is on the y-axis. So what we're going to do is we're going to find 5 kilograms 
which we know is going to be we have zero kilograms one kilogram two kilogram three kilogram four kilogram five kilograms so this is five kilograms right here so let's start tracing five kilograms up to this graph remember it is very important that you pay close attention to detail when doing this because you know this wouldn't be five kilograms and this is also not five kilograms now once we reach the graph we're just going to go over to see exactly where it is on the y-axis so now we're just going to go over and we can see it is going to touch the y-axis at this point right here now when we look at this we know we have the number 10 but we don't have this number but the thing is, we found out the scale of the y-axis. We know for every line, it's going to be 0 0.5 pounds. Therefore, all we're going to do is do 10 plus one line, which is 0 0.5. So we have 10 plus 0 0.5 plus another line, which is going to be 0 0.5 again. So to convert 5 kilograms to pounds, we have 10 pounds which is going to be the number before our actual dotted line. So we have 10 plus, we know from 10 pounds to this line is going to be 0 0.5. So we have plus 0 0.5 plus from this line to our actual dotted line is going to be another 0 0.5 pounds. Now just put all of this in your calculator. We have 10 plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 equals. And that's going to give us 11 pounds. So let's write our answer. We have 11 pounds. Now let's do part B. Part B says convert 3.5 pounds to kilograms. So they want us to go from pounds to kilograms. Where do you think we're going to start for this one? Are we going to start in the X axis or are we going to start in the Y axis? Well, because they want us to go from pounds to kilograms, we're going to have to start at pounds. Now they want us to start at 3.5 pounds. So let's find 3.5 pounds on this graph. Well, the first number we see is 5. So we know 3.5 is going to be smaller than this. So in order to find 3.5, the best thing we're going to have to do is use our scale and count up. So we're going to start at 0. And we know from 0 to the first line, we have 0 0.5. From the first line to the second line, we have 1. 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 is going to give us 1. Now from 1, now from this line to this line, we're going to add another 0 0.5, which is going to give us 1.5. And as we continue to do that, we know at this point, it's going to be 2.5. So this point right here is 2.5. Now when we go up right here, that's going to be 3.0. And this point is going to be 3.5. Now, I hope you're able to see all of that. I skipped a few steps, but it's pretty much the same thing. Now, once you recognize where 3.5 pounds is on this graph, we're just going to track it back to our line and then see where it falls on the X axis, which represents kilograms. So we know this is 3.5 pounds. So we're just going to go over till we hit the graph. Now we're going to come down to the X axis to see where it falls in pounds. So we can see that 3.5 kilograms is going to fall right here in pounds. Now what is this number exactly? Well, we know it is between 1 and 2. And because the scale between each line is 0 0.2, we can set this up to say 1 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2.
because there are three lines between one and this point right here, which is going to represent 3.5 pounds into kilograms. So let's write this down. We know we have one kilogram plus from this line to this line is going to be 0 0.2 kilograms. From this line to this line is also 0 0.2 kilograms. And from this line to this line, which is what we're trying to find, is going to be another 0 0.2 kilograms. Now when we put all of this in our calculator, we have 1 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 we're going to get the decimal number 1.6 kilograms. Our answer, therefore, is going to be 1.6 kilograms. Now for part C, they say convert 14 kilograms to pounds. Now how do you think we're going to go about this? Well, they want us to go from kilograms to pounds Therefore, we're going to start at kilograms and track our graph up. Therefore, we're going to start at 14 kilograms and trace till we get to our graph. So let's find 14 kilograms on our graph. Now, when we look for 14 kilograms, we know that this is kilograms. We see the last number we have is 10. Hmm, this is strange. And we see the graph actually stops at 9. So... We're in a predicament, aren't we? But do not panic. There's nothing to worry about. But even though we don't have 14 kilograms, we have 7 kilograms. And we know 7 is going to be half of 14. So we're going to find out how many pounds is in 7 kilograms and multiply that by 2. Because we know 7 times 2 is 14. Now let's solve for this. So we know this is going to be the kilograms. And this is 7 kilograms right here. When we start to trace this up, we can see it's going to start right here. Now we're going to go over to the y-axis, which is going to be in pounds. Therefore, we're going to start right at this point. So we know it's going to be a little greater than 15. And we know for each line, we're going to go up by 0 0.5 pounds. So we can say 15 plus 0 0.5 pounds, which is going to give us 15.5 pounds. So, so let's write this down. We know 7 kilograms equals 15 plus 0 0.5 pounds. Therefore, 7 kilograms equals 15 point five pounds now let's say we multiply both sides by two so we say two multiply by seven kilograms I'm sorry there isn't a lot of space here so we're gonna have to make it work equals fifteen point five pounds multiplied by two we know two times seven is going to give us 14 kilograms equals 15.5 multiplied by 2. When you put that in your calculator, you're going to get 31 pounds. So when we convert 14 kilograms using the graph above, we're going to get 31 pounds. This is going to be our answer for this problem. Now, the next part of the question says, the cost of eight pounds of potatoes is $5.58. Calculate the cost of one kilogram of potatoes. So as we can see, this question is a little different. So the first thing we're gonna do, is we're gonna use the graph to convert eight pounds to kilograms, because they give us the cost in pounds, but they really want the cost in kilograms. So let's go from 8 pounds to kilograms. Now, we know 8 is going to be between 5 and 10. 
and we know each line is going to go up by 0 0.5 pounds and because there is five lines between five and this line this is going to be 7.5 now remember between each line is 0 0.5 so if we add 0 0.5 plus 7.5 that's going to give us 8 so this line right here right above 7.5 is actually 8 pounds and that is what we're looking for because the question says the cost of 8 pounds we're going to find out how many kilograms is in 8 pounds so let's trace 8 pounds we know we're going to go over on the graph. It stops right there. Now we're going to come down. Therefore, 8 pounds in kilograms is going to fall right here between the numbers 3 and 4. And because we're going in increments of 0 0.2, and we have 1, 2, 3 lines in between until we get to our desired line, we're going to say 3 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2. So going from 8 pounds to kilograms, we have 3 kilograms plus 0 0.2 kilograms plus 0 0.2 kilograms plus 0 0.2 kilograms. Now when you put all of this in your calculator, you're going to get 3.6 kilograms. So we know 8 pounds is equivalent to 3.6 kilograms. Now they want us to find the price of 1 kilogram. Now in order to find out how much is 1 kilogram, we're just going to set the problem up to say cost divided by number of kilograms. Now remember, the cost of eight pounds is five dollars and fifty eight cents, which means the cost of three point six kilograms is also going to be five dollars and 58 cents because eight pounds equals 3.6 kilograms do you see what i'm saying so if you buy eight pounds it's the same as buying 3.6 kilograms so they both are going to cost the same thing so we know the cost is going to be five dollars and 58 cents so we can set the problem up for the cost as five dollars and 58 cents divided by the number of kilograms and the number of kilograms we know is going to be 3.6 kilograms so this is how much kilograms is in eight pounds which costs five dollars and 58 cents we're going to write 3.6 now just using a calculator you're going to say 5.58 divided by 3.6 and that's going to give you 1.5 and we know we're finding the cost therefore we're just going to add our money symbol therefore the cost of one kilogram of potatoes is going to equal to one dollar and 55 cents so in the answer space provided we're just going to write one dollar and 55 cents So the most important thing to remember any time you have a problem like this is to identify the scale on the y-axis and the x-axis. We knew for the y-axis, for each line, we went up 0 0.5 pounds. And for the x-axis, we went over for each line 0 0.2 kilograms. So once we knew this information, we were pretty much good to go to solve this problem.